Hello everyone, uh, my name is Fritz. I'm not gonna show if I'm gonna edit any music into this, I will do this myself, but we'll see how it goes. Basically, I want to do a hot take on uh, this game you're watching right now. This is my gameplay from Skull and Bones. And I want to draw a comparison to this and some of the other games. Let's start with the original Pirates. We'll also take into inclusion the old original Age of Sail game from many many years ago, but and then the newer Pirates game, and then uh, some elements from uh, Black Flag as well. So first of all, um, this game has had hundred and twenty million dollars in development up until now. They did not make a new physics engine, as far as I know. They did not make any new graphics engine, as far as I know. Uh, so I'm wondering, where did those money go? Um, I would, for $120 million, you can look at Star Citizen, for instance, and see what they've done. And just watch the movie that's called Star Engine. Really good um, movie. And uh, that will also come back to other things later on in this video. Uh, so let's start off. Uh, I love the intro of the game where you start off. They give you basics what to do, how to do things and uh, how to get into things. I love it. Really good, well made intro. Um, and uh, really fun one when you start shooting on the ships you learn how to use the guns really fast. But there's a difference. In all other games, including Black Sails, you have a marker to see where the shots are going. Here you do not. You only have that basically when you do the bombard from the center uh, mortar position. Uh, and, uh, and that also changes the view when you go into rocket launch. I don't know why they do that. Totally useless, totally waste of money, totally waste of... Uh, engineering and everything they should have had the same view different weapon but from the same gunning position same view end of story um, because when you have the bombard position you get a zoomed out position you can see where the shell is going you have a marker really good and when you have the frontal bombard guns or if you have a bombard guns you only see the marker where the shell is going after you fired totally useless uh, you, so you shoot and then, oh fuck, I missed. I've shot both shots. Ah, end of story. Okay. Uh, so that also really, really bad decision making. I uh, don't know why they did that. Only four hotkeys for uh, fast things. Uh, you can press control and then get some more, but no, 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 really bad. Really, really, really bad. Yes, you can go in and change it, but it doesn't help the fact that you have too many med kits to use you have like eight different med kits you could use on the ship too many too much waste of energy resources time and everything you just yeah keep it simple simple easy basic so when you get into port uh, the first main port uh, in the game then you are shown how to craft guns Excellent. Every other gun uh, game, you have to craft or buy multiple guns. The original Age of Sail game, if you had a Man of War, you had to have 50 guns on each side. 50 guns is expensive. In this game, you don't buy a gun. You buy a gun set, and it differs from ship to ship. On the smaller ship, you have two guns firing on the side. On the bigger gun sh ships, you have three guns firing even though this one displays four guns for some strange reason uh, and also uh, there are uh, the cost of making them too cheap too fast this should have been like okay come back half an hour come back or in an hour and the gun set will be ready and you should have doubled the price also for the ships too cheap the ships are way too cheap to make uh, not in resources, but in the amount of money you're spending on buying a new ship, way too little. And then when we go into the boarding aspect, uh, I, I don't know why they didn't keep the black flag kind of thing, where you had to physically board a ship to take it. Why did it make this cartoony thing? 
And then they'd remove the cartoony thing on Black Flag. We had the extra sales that would come out. So uh, for some things they kept, some things they removed, some things they added to make the same game with other ships that don't have the speed that you had in Black Flag. And then they removed the animation and the boarding process from Black Flag for some strange reason. And I don't know why. It was perhaps one of the more satisfying board in action that you had. Um, it was really good, really nice, really, yeah, really, really, really grounded into the gameplay that you had to board a ship physically to take control. And it wasn't always a guarantee that you will succeed. Another good example of this is, for instance, Age of Sail and Pirates. Both the Pirates game, the original and the newer one by Sid Meier. You had boarding, you had to fight the captain. Uh, okay, they did a little cheaper there on um, on the Pirates game, uh, where you just fought the captain and then you could do it really easy if you know how to play the game. Uh, but for instance, in Age of Sail, you had a really tough decision to make. Uh, and also crew management. Oh my god. There's no crew management. Where's the crew? Ah, you get a ship, you have a crew. You start with two people in the start of the game, and all of a sudden you have a bigger boat. But where did the crew come in? You have bars in the game. You don't have recruiting for crew. Are you insane? In Age of Sail, crew management was so important that when you took over, or when you fought a ship, and then you took over the ship by boarding it, you had the option to uh, either sink or take capture the ship. And that also came with the option to, to have crew that you, from that ship, uh, added to your own, if you wanted or not. Uh, and then the, the, that is also that, for some reason, they haven't added. You have no crew management. And all the boarding is, you board the ship, the ship is sunk, done deal, finished. But what if I want to have that beautiful Dutch uh, ship? instead of the one I have. Yeah, the only way I can get that ship is basically by doing some stupid tasks, grinding my ass off, and then I will have the option to buy it. And then you have to buy better guns, you have to buy better armor, and that is more grinding. Uh, best sh armor for protection, for instance, is stupid expensive. Doesn't make sense. There are some of the games make it a lot easier uh, that you could just uh, buy it or rip, do it in port. I do understand the grinding part of the game. They want to keep you occupied. They want to keep the game going. But for the development they have done, I don't know what they've done with the money. $120 million for this. And and, uh, and the CEO calls this a quad A game. I call this a double A game. And what pulls this really down also is the cutscenes. Oh my god. When you die, you pay an insurance bill to have the ship restored either at sea or in port. And then uh, there's a cutscene. You have a cutscene. Why do you have a cutscene? That is the. When you have in a situation like this where you die, you die, you die, you die, you die. You die it is so stress inducing you don't understand how hard it is not to kill and delete the game uh, because of that um other games for instance age of sail if you lost your ship i cheated a lot in age of sail because it was a single player game i saved a lot and if it was a battle i couldn't win i would go away another way if it was a battle that i could have won potentially i would try again and if it was a battle where I found out, okay, my sheep is weak, I need a better one, then yeah, do that. Uh, but here, your ship is destroyed and you get an insurance claim. Okay, do you want to spawn in sea? It will cost you this much. Do you want to spawn in port? It costs you this much. But if you spawn in sea, you don't get full health. You lose a chunk of your health. And you have to have extra things on your ship that will fix that health and that will take some time. And you cannot be in a battle while it, that health is restored. Uh, so uh, here you see in the bottom left corner that some a chunk of my health is gone. And every time you die, that disappears some more uh, for some strange reason. And then uh, another thing that I... Uh, yeah, the insurance thing. 
or yeah, I call it an insurance thing because basically you pay to get your ship back. That shouldn't be. Remove it. It shouldn't be there. It should. It's totally useless. Totally waste. If someone are our own bad luck and they all of a sudden are out of money, you are forcing them to port, and they cannot even fix the ship because you wasted all the money because they have to respawn all the times. Um, for me, it's no problem. I have enough money here because I played the game since start. Uh, me and my friends, we've been streaming. Uh, we have four st can channels streaming the game. So we're not big, we're, we're really small guys, but we are doing our uh, best to have fun. But yeah, and uh, oh yeah, going ashore. Um, I don't remember if Age of Sales had... Yeah, you had the option to go ashore in Age of Sales as well. Then you had like the army groups that you could um, navigate around to have land battles. The only place you can go ashore in this game is designated ports and havens, like pirate havens, small areas. You cannot go, port, uh, go ashore wherever you want. No, no, no. That's no, no, no. For instance, this fort I'm fighting. It could have been an easier fight if I just sent my men aboard, uh, abroad, uh, on the shore to fight a land battle. And then send my ship off to do distance fighting instead of going in close combat, combat with this castle. Uh, and for some reason, uh, some of the missions, I don't know if it's a bug or what it is, I keep getting these black ships. It's probably due to the smuggling missions I had. Uh, and you see they're just relentlessly coming all the time. Uh, it, it's really frustrated me uh, to the point that I really, really, really didn't want to play at times. But yeah, I, I chewed through, I got away with it, so now... They're all gone, so now I need to get a better ship because this one, uh, the level don't don't stack well. Up to level nine, everything is peachy, fine, okay, no problems. But as soon as you get to level ten ships, they are one shotting me. Uh, yeah, um, not the, this is not even a half baked one. I have one where I spawn in with full health, and I get one shotted right away. Uh, from a tier 10 ship and another one where I get rammed and one-shotted by ramming uh, I, and I have no chance of uh, of Stopping it because I'm f fighting another ship because my ramming stamina is gone. I cannot do anything So uh, this game is overpriced overpaid for by the developer uh, And it's so wrong in so many aspects of the game it should not, the price is too high for it. It should have been priced more close to 40 bucks uh, for the regular and then 50 bucks maybe for the uh, extended elite version that I have uh, because that's just what it's worth. And you see also the guns. You have four guns on the side, but it only fires off three shells. I don't understand this. The logic of this game does not make sense in so many things. Uh, and they ruined the game, they ruined the reputation of not only this game, but also uh, the Assassin's Creed uh, genre has been ruined by this game and how they handle it. Um, Drive-by shootings with rifles, that's okay if you could have better control of it. I would have loved to have first-person control where you actually try to snipe the captain, for instance. That would have been a much better game mechanic and what they've done here. It's just so, so, so much terrible. The resolution is bad because of Twitch. Twitch doesn't allow high resolutions. I have to do 720 widescreen in a very specific resolution. So that's why it looks really bad. So, forget, so uh, forgive me about that. Yeah. Um, I do not recommend buying this game, to be honest. There are so many other good games out there. Uh, I would actually look at the original Age of Sales, even if it's a single player game. Yeah, also that. Uh, you, you have a three player max limit. Why not four? Why not more? This is a multiplayer game. Why, why only three? Three is a really bad number. Uh, ne all, all other games, Counter-Strike, uh, Call of Duty, four player, regular. So when we are four regular players coming into this game, one is left out or we have to go two and two. Really, really bad. 
And we don't even, it's not even sure that we are on the same server so that we cannot come to a system if they ask for help and stuff like that. This is basic problems, basic issues that should have been solved long before. Uh, and also, um, to move items from ship to cargo, there should have been better information about, okay, you can move this slider, you can move one item at a time, you can move it to the other ones, you can move it to the tens, to the hundreds, to the thousands, so you can move all those a lot faster. For multiple days, I only thought that you only could move one item at a time. All my friends did so too, one item at a time. What is going on? Why is this development so bad and so expensive? Where did the money go? And this, the chat. Why is the chat not working? Come on. It's 2023. If you're so woke that you cannot have even the chat up and running because of something that you are afraid of people saying or doing, why is it a multiplayer game? Why did you make this? Why did you take so long to make this game? Is it because of the spray and the explosions that you were not good with it? Fine with it? It's so many aspects of this game that are so terrible and so bad. I do not recommend buying this game. And that is my hot take on this. Uh, my name is Fritz. This is Game Addicted Channel uh, on YouTube. I hope you have a great day, everyone. Bye.